Hey, what's up to all you amazing teachers out there? Welcome back. It's another great video today, and the topic is teaching English in Thailand. So I made a list of about 13 things and 13 questions that we're going to go through in this video. So this is for people who are interested in coming to Thailand and teach, and people who perhaps are already living in Thailand. So here we go. Number one is the language. Now, of course, the official language is Thai. And how much do you need to know? I get this question quite a bit. It depends, you know, um, if you're going to a big city like Bangkok or perhaps in Chiang Mai, more people will probably be comfortable with speaking some English. But if you go out to some of the more rural areas, like the countryside, perhaps English will not have as such a big influence. So I really recommend number one is you got to learn the language. You can practice. You can watch videos on YouTube. I used to watch uh, Learn Thai with Mod, M-O-D, Learn Thai with M-O-D, Mod. And so there's these two girls and they're really good. They really help out. And also there's tons of other people out there. So I always get this advertisement from something called uh, We Learn, uh, Learn Thai from a White Guy or something like that. So if you see that, oh my goodness. All right, so know the language, know the Thai language. It's, it's a tonal system, so you have like four or five tones. So it's similar to like, you know, in Chinese, like if, if you have uh, one word, it can mean four different things. So you've got to be aware, especially when you're ordering food and things. Number two is what location do you want? You know, for the people who are interested in coming here to teach English in Thailand, then you've got to know what location would suit you best. Now, of course, in the south, which is a bit closer to Malaysia, you have, you know, Phuket, you have uh, Thai Sao, which is basically south of Thailand. Where all most of the uh, beach resort tourist areas and things like that are located, of course. And then you have Rayong, which still has, you know, some tourism. And then you have Thai Sao, which is very agrarian, very agricultural based area. And then you have Bangkok, you have Chiang Mai, and of course, a little bit above Chiang Mai, you have Chiang Rai. So there's a lot of other places around Thailand, but specifically Bangkok, Chiang Mai, Rayong, and Thai Sao, and even Thai North, or Isan, which is Northeast Thailand, you can find teaching jobs, okay? So don't be concerned about trying to find a job, be more concerned about where you want to go. Do you want the big city life like Bangkok or <clears throat> do you want something a little bit more relaxed like Chiang Mai? So, or do you want to be where it's really warm and you want to have a lot of durian and you want to be closer to the beach, then go south. And if you want to be, and uh, I haven't, I've never been to Isan, but people say it's really beautiful. Um, very, very much different from other parts in Thailand. So anyway, do your own research on location. Okay, guys? Number three is, it is a Buddhist country. So the, the, the religion here is Buddhism. And even though I'm not a Buddhist, I have to say it's, I already did a lot of things Buddhist related before even coming here intuitively. And now that I'm living in Thailand, I've realized how much this place has made me more relaxed. And the... I'm going to get into that on number four. So the thing about the religion is there's lots of holidays. And so you have to be aware of that. There might be festivals, stores might close, shops might close and things like that. And also, I don't really drink, al I don't drink alcohol. But um, if you do, then you have to be aware, like sometimes it's not, you're not allowed to buy it in a store. So lots of different things out here and you have to respect it. it is. You know, it is, it is the, the religion is Buddhism here, so have respect. The next thing is, um, <laughs> you know, well, I wanted to say real quick, the first place that I came to in Thailand, it really woke me up. It was a big culture shock because it was the first time that I saw someone, one of the cooks at one of the restaurants, I was waiting to get my food for breakfast, and she said, you know, she said, excuse me, of, um, it's not in English, but you know, I, I knew that's what she was saying because she put up her hand and then she went outside, got on her knees and prayed to the monks that were passing by. Then all the, the people came out 
And so that was like an eye-opening experience. And it really, I mean, I guess it, you know, it did wake me up, but it was a moment where you're like, you used to see, you know, you might've seen something like this on a documentary back home, but then now you're like seeing it and you're, you're living it. And it was one of those like, oh, whoa, one of those whoa moments, you know, something you've never seen before and you're 29 years old. You're like, wow, what have I been missing? All right. So the next thing is number four. Um, how does the religion affect the culture? So that's a great that's a great question. So first of all, not everybody, just like in America, a lot of Christians there and they're all living their lives. So no people are perfect. So it's a relaxed pace here. Mm, perhaps in Bangkok, it might be a bit more fast paced than just the overall energy, you know, like six million people compared to under two million people here in Chiang Mai. So that's a big difference. A lot more energy, a lot more people can be a bit chaotic sometimes. But I've never lived in Bangkok, so just visited, just passed through a few times. And the next thing I really like about the, uh, the culture here is that it's very, very family-oriented and also food-oriented. So like when people get together like on a blanket and they sit down and they got all their food, you know, they're not thinking about trying to rush their food so that they can go do something else. Like they're going to sit, relax and enjoy their food with their family, the kids and their grandparents and the mom and dad and cousins and relatives or whatever, you know, and they're listening to their music. And I come in there like this super tall white dude and they're all like, you know, speaking and I sometimes don't even know what they're saying, but, um, it's a really, really, um, it's, very similar to how my family grew up because, you know, we were always like eating food together and stuff like that. So, you know, if, if hmm. it's just, it's Southeast Asia. Family is so important in Asia just in general. I mean, not to say that family is not important in Europe and the West and USA and North America, South America, but it's just different. And that's why if you've never seen it, you got to come here and experience Southeast Asia. So another thing is karma the culture is so giving. They're so into the idea of sharing, you know, because they're very connected to the food that they're growing. They're very connected to nature here in Thailand. So when I came here, um, people were like giving me free rides to go to get food and stuff. And I'm like, why are you doing this? I'm like, here, take, take some money. And they're like, no, 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 no. I'm like, okay. So again, these were these like eye-opening moments where like, whoa, you know, and reality, like factual reality, I mean, at the time I didn't, let's just say in factual reality, like the amount of money that some of these people can make in the places that were so giving and didn't even expect anything in return, that was just like this feeling, this warm, warm feeling inside that somebody who's got to go work, say like 10 hours, hard, hard work, 10 hours just to put food on the table for the family every day. And yet they find time to try to do something for me and then I can't even tip them and they won't even accept it because they have, a, they have this belief of, you know, karma that same thing would happen when I went to a restaurant on Saturday morning. It was like my second week in this place and I was like, I was losing weight. I was super hungry. I didn't know what to do. And like the one day I had this soup with a friend and I was like, this soup didn't make me sick. It's okay. I'll eat it. So I went back to that same restaurant and I didn't know how to order the food. And this one guy came up and talked English with me and said, Hey, don't worry. I'll help you out. So everything worked out and we ordered, he ordered the food for me. I knew he was doing it. And then he paid for me and I was like, no, man, you can't do that. And he's like, no, 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 no. I'm like, Wow, so, you know, it, it's kind of hard to deny the love of a place that where people are just so giving, you know, I really want to stress that. And anyway, number five, the, you know, when I first got here, it was in Puak Dang, which is in Rayong, maybe about one hour from Pattaya, which is a beach town, very touristy, kind of like urban beach, you know, that kind of vibe. And again, you know, I was at like rock bottom at that place. Like I didn't know what to do and mostly because of transportation and the language. I just didn't know how to speak the language and 
where I was, there wasn't enough people that could speak English to me in order that we could like communicate and get things that I needed to get done. So that was the, the huge, the biggest frustration is, and that's why I'm going to stress it again, go back to number one is, please, you got to take some time to really focus and learn the language um, in Thailand. It's very important. So number six is, Ko Tao, or people say Ko Tao, but it's in English to say Ko Tao, K-O-H, Ko, and then T-A-O, Ko Tao, which is Turtle Island, basically. <clears throat> so I was there for about almost two months, and it's a great place. Now, it was like I went from living in a place where I was at my first time in Thailand, I didn't know what to expect, and then I say goodbye to that place. I moved to the beach and I'm, you know, I'm like, yes, I'm finally going to the beach. Just like the videos I see on YouTube and all that. And basically, um, I got there and of course I had the most amazing time. The water was incredible snorkeling and these fish coming right up to your face and stuff and like touching you in your back and just the warm air, the atmosphere, the seawater. It was like so happy to be in that again. But after two months, it's a very, very small island. And sometimes if you got to go somewhere, like you got to take a boat like two islands away to the nearest airport or you got to take another boat to the mainland. So you're kind of like in one of the most isolated islands in Thailand. But it was, again, it was a great experience, but ultimately it was the internet that I could, the, the internet was not reliable. And good thing I moved because like two, a month or two months later, they had this huge flood and like, yeah. So anyway, the island life is nice, but beware of the Wi-Fi. It's, it's not always guaranteed in some places, okay? So let's see, try to get all these done in a few more minutes. So number seven is motorcycles. I had three accidents in one year. I don't recommend motorcycles. Thailand's notorious. Even though most of the accidents are from drinking and driving, I still don't recommend it, okay guys? Next, um, tra- you know, public transportation. So in, the, in Bangkok, they have the metro. There's Uber everywhere that you can use Grab. I haven't used Grab yet, but I just stick with Uber. They give lots of promos and free rides and stuff like that. And it's very quick. It's very easy, very navigable. So public transportation is a no-brainer. You could take red taxis and tuk-tuks. I don't recommend that. The pollution, I'm not trying to add to that. Just, oh man, you'll see it when you get here. I just stick to the try to the cleanest transportation and that's it. You know, public transportation is not a big deal in Thailand. Next is visa. Depending on where you're coming from, even though I'm from the USA, I was coming from Hong Kong to Thailand, so I only had one month. Yeah, I only had one month. So that's a video I got to make in itself. So you've got to be real you have to realize that there's a lot of different visas out here in Thailand and that's something that you've got to figure out what's best for you. I'll probably make a video and discuss the different types of visas that are available. The next one is number nine, opportunity. Is there a lot of opportunity for native English speakers in Thailand? Yes, but compared to China, um, not so much. Like there's one guy here named Adam Ajarn. He's amazing. He's really great. Has a school in Bangkok. Put out tons of YouTube videos. But he's like the only one I know who's like an internet celebrity. In China, there's dozens and probably like hundreds all throughout China that are internet celebrities. So you compare that one that I know to like just so many, you can't even name them. So there's a lot of opportunity, but it's mostly in schools. Whereas in China, there's a lot of other side stuff that you can do. And of course, the salary will probably be higher in China. However, Thailand, it's very accessible. There's lots of opportunity here, lots. And then also the food, the food's amazing. The Thai food, if you like spicy food and soups and rice, and some sweet food and all kinds, a lot of vegetarian food here, a lot of vegan food. It's one of the reasons why I like to be here so much because of the vegan options. It's, for me, it's really relaxed. It's really quiet here. And that's pretty much it, guys. And internet, you have freedom to use the internet here, Facebook, Google, all that stuff's available here. So guys, that was my uh, 13 things on, that 13 things you need to know before you teach English in Thailand. If you got any questions, let me know which uh, topic, which part was your favorite. Don't hit, to, don't wait to hit that subscribe button. Hit it right now. Thank you guys so much, and keep teaching, keep inspiring, and keep going. Oh yes.